In this video, we're going to learn about various types of limit switches. As you can see, we have three different types of limit switches with their specific ratings embedded on them. As you can see, this is the first limit switch which can bear the voltage up to 20, 250 volt at 15 amperes and if the voltage is 440 volts, it bears only 10 amperes of current. The second one is by microelectric controls which can bear the voltage of 500 volt at 10 amperes. This is also the same one, but the only difference is as their actuation buttons. As you can see, it will give, it will take just slightly force and can give limit limiting actuation. And in this, we have to press it slightly hard to get a limit. Actually, what happening inside? I'll show you the in next demonstration. And this is also another limit which is which is having a roller onto it. And this roller is uh, specifically to avoid the wear and tear. So if it is limiting something, for example, a cylinder is coming and if it presses it, presses it down, it rolls slide to that so that it doesn't, it, it prevents wear and tear. So now let's see what's inside that so that you can be very clear about their operation. Now we have a limit switch with snap action. Now this snap means this thing. This is a snap action. Now let's see what's inside this. I'm going to open this limit switch. It's having some screws over there. And I'm going to open this limit switch. Now here you can see there are four terminals. As you will closely see, there are some symbols uh, written over there. It says 13, 14, 21 and 22. And these 13, 14, 21 and 22 are standardized symbols, standardized numbers. It means in every limit switch of this make, of this company, they will have the same numbers. And these numbers indicates the type of operation. Like we have a symbol over here, this symbolizes it's a normally open button. Now what this normally open means? That will be clear using a multimeter. Now first we will switch the multimeter at the continuity selection. Now this continuity means when it touches these uh, wires, it will show that there is a connection between these two wires. Now let's see, when, we, when I put these wires over here, it doesn't show any connection. But when I press this limit switch, this gives a beep which indicates that this wire is connected to this wire but if I put this wires over here it will give continuously beep because this thing is already connected and this shows that these are a normally closed buttons but when I press this button it will disconnect the connection so by using these three four these four terminals we can take some mechanical actuation sensing in our controllers now I'm in next session I'm going to connect some output device with this limit sensor and you will see how this limit sensor is giving sensing, giving, giving control signal to actuate an actuator. Now I have wired this whole circuit, I have connected this limit switch with two indicators. Now these indicators runs on 220 volt supply. I have given the supply from this power strips. Now if I switch the on, if I switch on the circuit you can see the red light is on. And why this is on? Because this 220 volt is coming here and it is traveling to this point when the limit switch is off as you have seen this is normally close point so this 220 is traveling across this wire and this neutral is provided from the back end that's why this but this indicator is on now if you see the other indicator it is connected to normally open button now what happened when i press this button you see now this button is connected to this one, this terminal so that's the reason why this green led is on now when i release this button now this terminal is connected to this button because this is normally closed and this this terminal will get open at this moment this is closed and this is open you can see the supply is coming here you can see the uh, light indicating in this screwdriver now when i press this button what happens is this circuit gets open and this circuit gets closed due to this reason this indicating light is on so we can indicate by, by the actuation of this button about whether our limit switch is open or whether our limit switch is closed. Now apart from this indicator we can also use some other actuation signal. Like we can give this signal to the controller and the controller can uh, process this signal and can do some necessary action.